recovery mode for Android has a bit of a confusing name as many people are under the impression that it can help restore the personal data like photos, videos, and contacts that you have on your smartphone or tablet. Instead, it's a way that we can recover the files required for the Android operating system to function properly. Now, I have the Galaxy A13 right here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to boot the entire Galaxy A series into recovery mode. And then at the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to exit the special boot mode as well. This process will work for the Galaxy A13, the Galaxy A33, the Galaxy A53, and the Galaxy A73 smartphones, as they are all released under the same naming series from Samsung. Also, this method will require us to plug something into the USB port at the bottom of the phone here, but you can also do the ADB reboot command to access it as well. So if you don't have a computer or a pair of USB headphones, then you can use a local ADB environment to reboot into recovery mode if you want. We're going to be doing the button combination method in this video. And to start, we're going to need to power down the smartphone using the power menu that we are all used to. So hold down the power button, bring up the power menu, and then let's power off the device. Even after you feel the phone vibrate and the screen go dark, it's best to wait a few seconds so that you know the device has completely shut down. We'll then need to plug something into the USB port at the bottom of the device. This will not work with a wall charger though, so you're going to need something with a data connection. I'm going to be using my PC here in today's video, but you could also use a pair of USB headphones as mentioned earlier. If you are using a PC and it does pull up to show the battery percentage, again, we're going to wait until that battery percentage goes away and the screen goes black again before we do the button combo required to boot into recovery mode. Now, when you're ready, we're gonna be pressing the power button and the volume up buttons at the same time so we're going to press these two buttons down and we're going to continue to hold these two buttons during the entire boot process. So you're going to see that screen come up. You're going to see that screen come up. And once you see that screen go away and this menu appear, then you can let go of both the power and the volume up buttons. This is the stock Android recovery screen here. And once you get to this menu, you can then unplug that USB cable from the bottom of the phone. Now you're gonna to need to use the physical buttons on the side of the device to navigate through this menu. You can see we have a number of options here and we can change which option is highlighted by pressing the volume up or volume down buttons. Now, if we wanted to select one of these options, say we wanted to go in and do a factory data reset, we can select one of these menu options by making sure the option is highlighted first and then pressing the power button to select that option. Now I could continue with the factory data reset here if I wanted to, but we just use this as an example and we can go and select the cancel option to go back to the stock main menu. Samsung has a number of things that we can do on the Galaxy A13, Galaxy A33, 
Galaxy A53 and the Galaxy A73 smartphones when we're in recovery mode, such as rebooting over into bootloader, which is download mode, aka Odin mode. We can apply an update from ADB, or we can apply an update from the SD card, aka the internal storage. Again, we can do a factory data reset, or we can just wipe the cache partition, mount the system partition, view some recovery logs, run a couple of tests. We can try to repair the apps that we have, or we can simply power off the device. So if you have booted into Android recovery mode, and you want to exit and you want to leave recovery mode and boot back into Android, there are two ways this can be done. If you wanted to, you could select the power off option, wait till the device powers down, and then hold the power button to boot it back up. Or we can make sure that the reboot system now option is highlighted and we can press the power button to select it. Now, as long as the Android operating system is functional and it works, then doing this will boot you directly into Android. If you find yourself selecting that option and then seeing the device reboot into recovery mode again, or maybe it reboots into download mode, that generally means that you, your device is in a boot loop and you're likely going to need to do a factory data reset as shown in order to recover the files of the Android operating system. So you can see we went from Android, booted into recovery mode on the Galaxy A13, and then we booted from recovery mode back into Android. So there are a number of features built into the stock Android recovery mode, as you just saw. Remember, this mode is not meant to help you recover any of your lost or deleted data, but it can be extremely helpful if you ever find that the Android operating system itself is corrupt and you need to restore the operating system files in order to make the phone work normally again.